the doubleheader between South Dakota State and the Florida State Seminoles underway and we're set for game two at Joanne Graff Field with Florida State winning game one. A wild and wacky game. And then a couple of flyouts to center field for Jarecki. One for three in game one between Florida State and South Dakota State. And there's a good start for Danley and her fellow freshman Jason E. Beecham on the on the ground, Flaherty picks it with the back of the glove. What a smooth looking move for Devin Flaherty. Back to Flaherty. Back to first, and that's a one, two, three inning for the freshman. 2-1 to Mudge, and that is looking like a gapper for Mudgy. Strong throw to second. She'll beat it, though. It's a leadoff double for the Knowles. For those of you who are tuning in and wondering what happened to Janai Kerr, she is day-to-day -day with a knee injury. Florida State hopes to get her back soon. A couple of veterans battling away here. And Lacey won't get the call. That's ball four. Harding works the walk. Hot to second, force at second, and a double play at first. She comes after the catcher, and it pays off. So Culver's birthday, so it was kind of an impromptu birthday party, but also at the same time, a chance to just do something fun in general. What a play, up the middle by Torres. That's fun too. Oh, what a pitch. Ashton Danley, part of a highly touted freshman class. Oh, and she just spotted that on the outside part of the plate. And that's a good start. Mike Martin's final Omaha run back in 2019. That one's up. Consecutive walks to start. Alexa Williams came in to relieve her, and Florida State would end up scoring three. Line drive, snared in center. Carrillo, friend for Flaherty. Five hits in the last seven games after six in the first 14. And that walk will be enough for Devin. Eight runs, who also walked four people in the first game, so eight combined. Just really a couple of innings. Slow roller here to short. Play is to first, and Florida State will score Torres. And that's smart there, too, from Carrillo coming in from the shortstop position. Nellis from the dugout. She's looking to score another run or two. Or she'll walk. That'll do just well. Ground ball. Covered up at short, no play though. Another run will score. You gotta credit Carrillo for getting on top of that ball and limiting the damage, but there just wasn't enough time for her to get to her feet and get a force. Absolutely credit where it's due. Full extension, keep it in the infield. Could have potentially been another run for Florida State, keeps the base loaded. And lifted that one out to right. Playable out there for Osmondson, and that'll put an end to the second. Florida State leads it. Two. First strikeout swinging for Ashton Danley. That's three in a row for the freshman. Two to end the second, one to kick. Bouncer to second. Flaherty to first in time. Two up, two down numbers this year but has really manned the hot corner well over the balance of her career so valuable defensively the senior from Hartford South Dakota as she sends a hot shot to the hot corner for Florida State and the freshman handles the heat Dub toss you got it it's not a pub song. it wasn't but that is a well hit ball into left field for Edenfield FSU has gotten the lead off of board in every inning to this point. Torres swung on the first offering and pops out to... 
Got a hold of that one. Left field, this time it'll play two. Well, last time she hit a grand slam, you were talking about the hitting and how she has gotten better this season. You do the same thing again. How about Ross? Right over the plate, down, hands all extended. Almost the same spot as she did last time. Maybe just a little bit farther. Laycaser calls her number off the top of the wall. Maybe a foot or so shy of going out herself. It's a double nonetheless for Laycaser. In relief. Flaherty to short. Play is to first. That'll take care of Devin. It'll also hold Laycaser at second. South Dakota State roster. Dan Lee. Oh, what a play! Come on! How about that in center field? It'll be interesting to see here as they start their second trip through the order if they can figure out what adjustments to make off Ashton Danley and wow, Danley. And there you have it, Barnard breaks the streak and the Jackrabbits have their first hit from Sioux Falls and has now recorded hit in 22 of 28 games this season. Line drive, Torres back to first, and that'll do it. Well, 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 first spot of bother for Ashton. Oh, she waited on the change up there, and that's a nice play charging in by Culver. Good piece of hitting, though, by Mudge, letting that It's short and beach him is safe. To third, force at second. They'll turn for the double at first and won't get it. So lead runner beach him is retired. No double play. They will get on the back. Back to Masterson at third, and she'll take care of the catcher at first. Florida State lead. Losing a pitcher like Catherine Sandicock, who takes up so much, a big percentage of your innings as a team. This one elevated to left field. Belvi tracking and securing. Sean, I think that's the, been the big. Trying to inject a little lightning bolt here. Well, Beecham's got another opportunity. This time it stays fair, and the freshman was ready for her moment. She retires the short pitch of this A.B. And this flare dies into the glove of Devin Flaherty. Danley wins the battle and puts an end. Torres up the middle. And no play will be made at second. Mia Jarecki wasn't able to corral that one. Stayed after for the first time in this game, not getting the leadoff runner aboard an inning ago. Gets right back to it. Oh, off-speed pitch. And now look at Dumont. My goodness. That is. And so Amaya will work the walk. She has been on base. With the day she's having, Herman probably doesn't feel too bad that she'll make her way to first. But Waycaser sharply hit. South Dakota State gets the force at second and the double play at first. Looking for her first trip on base. And she just earned it. She said, Sean, he's been seeing it a little bit more. On the ground here to short, force at second, and the double play at first. She would have liked 184 last year, 178 to this point this year, but so solid defensively, and that's a quality played appearance for Cheyenne, who works the walk here with two outs in the top of the outside. On the ground to short, Potter deep in the hole, play to first, won't get Jarecki. 
That's also why they love Jarecki. Ton of speed at the top of the order. Shows it all. Everybody from an undefeated regular season run in the Summit League. But Barnard goes down. In these games to you between South Dakota State and the 18th ranked Seminoles of Florida State. Devin Flaherty swings on the first pitch and grounds out to second. One and a third in game one with only one hit allowed. Listen, only three appearances coming into today. Danley out to left field, at the wall. It'll skip there. And the young lady who started in the circle will wind up at second base. Well, it's around great softball player here at FSU. Harp to short, bobbled by Carrillo, and Harp is safe at first. At Niagara also would have belonged on that list, but she's only played in five games. Everybody else has played in at least 15, and a lot of them nearly 20. Beecham does her part, that'll score Danley. Freshman plating freshman, and that batting average somehow will continue to climb. Well, I think it's pretty incredible what she's been able to do, so consistent, and it all goes back to when you watch her at the plate and you watch her take these swings, just so even keel, does not even look like a freshman, acts like. Elevated out to right field, and that is dropped. FSU will tack on one, Harp will score, and Harding is safe at second. Having good defensively, just trying to play the sun and feel out where that wall is. Both at the same time, just took her eye off for a second and already moves to second. Another run scored for the no. And that's another walk. First base on balls in this game for Michaela Edenfield. Ground ball here to second. Play is to first, Beecham will score. FSU's got a couple in scoring position. Ross walks for the third time in this game. Turn that one down the line, that'll get off the glove of Masterson and Florida State calls game here in the sixth. After a back and forth battle in game one, game two, all Knowles from the outset. Yeah, all Knowles from the jump. And you got to credit some of the bats we've seen today. But in game two, Ashton Danley was phenomenal. Here's another look at that last play just off the glove of Masterson. Got the tip, will bring home that winning run for Florida State. But credit freshman Ashton Danley, maybe her best performance of her young career, showed a lot of composure in the circle. And then